Hi there. Welcome to MCSI. My name is Rosie. In this video, I will tell you what dynamic malware analysis is all about. Dynamic analysis involves executing the malware sample in an isolated environment and tracking its behavior using special software tools. It typically proceeds in two stages, basic and advanced. In basic dynamic analysis, a virtual machine is created in an isolated network and a snapshot of its current state is taken. Then the sample is executed on the host. Various tools like Process Monitor, Redshot and Wireshark are used to track the sample's behavior. In advanced dynamic analysis, the examination is performed on the isolated virtual machine. Tools like debuggers are used to pause the sample's execution and observe the internal state of variables. It enables the reverse engineer to also execute a piece of code line by line to examine its behavior. In the traditional approach to malware analysis known as MARE, basic dynamic analysis was performed first, followed by advanced dynamic analysis. To keep up with emerging threats, the systematic approach to malware analysis or SAMA was introduced. In that approach, advanced dynamic analysis is performed first, alongside advanced static analysis. Then, basic dynamic analysis is performed. To know more about SAMA, take a look at another video on our channel. The description box below contains the link to it. There are numerous benefits to analyzing the behavior of a malware sample. It is possible to identify the modifications made by a sample to the host it is executing on. This could be modification to files, services, processes, or system configuration information. It could also be persistence mechanisms for the sample to remain undetected on the host. The network activity of the sample can be tracked if connections are made to potentially malicious servers, if files from the host machine are being sent, or if further malicious samples are dropped to the infected machine. The entire spectrum of the sample's capabilities can be uncovered. Some samples are designed to detect when executed in a virtual machine or sandboxed environment. It is possible to identify specific triggers which cause a particular malicious activity to occur. Dynamic malware analysis can be performed manually by setting up a virtual machine and installing various tools. If you want set up your own lab at home, I invite you to watch another video on our channel to walk you through the process. Analyzing a malware sample's behavior can also be automated by utilizing sandboxes available online like Cuckoo Sandbox, Joe's Sandbox, and Any.Run. These sandboxes can provide a quick report about a sample. I hope you have a good idea now about the significance of dynamic malware analysis. Are you excited to examine the behavior of malware samples? Stay tuned to our channel. If you like this video, please hit like and share this video on social media. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to receive more videos like this one. Join our online community of students learning useful cybersecurity skills if you haven't already. To register for a free account right away, go to our website. Happy learning and see you soon!